Now, I can take cells from a newborn, the placenta is from a newborn, we can process them, manufacture them, and we can then store them by cryopreserving them, putting them at a minus 180 degrees centigrade, and they will last forever. So the shelf life of a stem cell that is cryopreserved can be measured in decades, which means that if, if, if I had my cells from birth stored away, I could use my own cells. But you could use anybody's cells. But, but we discovered that the placenta, thank goodness, is nature's universal donor tissue. So the placenta, think about this for a second, right? A placenta is, is built by the developing fetus, which is a product of the fertilized egg. It carries half the genetic material from the mother and half from the father, which means that it's not a perfect match to the mother. Yet she carries it for nine months without an immunologic conflict. She doesn't reject it, it doesn't reject her, right? Pretty cool. What about surrogate pregnancy? The mother's not even related to the fetus, not even related to the placenta, yet she carries that organ for nine months and doesn't reject it, and it doesn't reject her. It's, it's really pretty remarkable. So that, that makes for a perfect, really perfect um, uh, a therapeutic product because it can be given one, one size fits all to anybody, and, um, and it, it will be tolerated without any immunologic side effects. One of the reasons we chased immune cells coming out of the placenta was an early observation that I had that although roughly one in a thousand pregnant women has some form of cancer, um, they virtually never transmit the cancer to the developing fetus. Wow. So that suggests there's something there that's defending the, the developing fetus. Well, think about this. A fetus is, is, is is grown in a sterile environment. The amniotic sac and the amniotic fluid is fundamentally sterile. The immune system of the developing fetus hasn't yet had a chance to learn anything. So it's relying on what's called the innate immune system. That's the pre-programmed immune system. At the moment of birth, the newborn is thrust from this sterile environment into an incredibly densely overpopulated environment of microbial and viral pathogens, right? There's, it's just, it's a dirty environment. But postnatal infectious death is not high. Doesn't really happen. Because the baby is born with this innate immune system that protects it from cancer cells, virally infected cells, fungal cells. And what, what's happening is the, the natural killer cell is identifying and trafficking to a set of molecules that get expressed on those threats and, and targets them. It's actually, it's actually interesting, right? You think about it, um, a human being devotes nine months of re reproductive energy to one offspring. So evolution has selected for a life support and defense system in the placenta to protect that offspring at all costs, right? Because you know, in, in human evolution, a female would have to have a dozen, ki a dozen kids that survive just to maintain the, the, the species. So the, the placenta evolved as this remarkable defense system, and we're just harnessing some of that natural power. I sometimes use, use the phrase, every stem cell thinks it's in a fetus, no matter where you get it from, no matter, no matter where it is. The fetal system has this unique ability to always repair itself to almost perfect. The best example of that is in fetal surgery. So you know that you can identify a, a fetus that has an underlying birth defect, like spina bifida, and you can intervene, open the womb up, expose the fetus, fix the problem surgically, put the fetus back in the womb and come back in six months, and when that, when that newborn comes out, there's no evidence of a scar. It's really remarkable. Um, so that unique sort of infinite regenerative ability that exists at a time during our, during our biological history, what we're trying to do is, is now use that at different stages of our life to get the best possible renovation and repair of our tissues. If you do that, you should restore function, um, uh, uh, you should eliminate pain, and you should, and you should protect yourself from these problems uh, on, a, on, a, on an iterative basis, so that over time, you know, you wind up having younger joints than, than your chronological age, things like that.